welcome to Notice Tonight, the show that decodes the region. I am Wasbir Hussain. It is clearly a king's gambit for the ruling BJP at the center. The NDA government is bent on having the citizenship bill passed into law. That would help Hindu and other non-Muslim migrants from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan who had entered the country till December 31, 2014 gain Indian citizenship. The BJP's argument is that India is the natural refuse for any persecuted Hindu from the neighborhood. The move now is, to, is beginning to have its political fallout. The move certainly is beginning to have its political fallout. The Okam Gana Parishad, the BJP's ally in Assam, has quit the alliance, and three of the AGP ministers have already resigned from the Sarban and the Sonowal government. That may be ignored, but what is significant is that Three to four BJP MLAs in Assam also have now come out openly against the Citizenship Amendment Bill. And yes, BJP leaders from other northeastern states like Manipur and Mizoram have met parties' national leaders and have petitioned them to exclude their respective states from the purview of the bill. While demanding this, BJP leaders from Manipur and Mizoram have also urged the center to initiate steps to protect the indigenous people with definite measures. The NPP, another ally of the BJP, as also the MNF, is also opposed to the bill and a party delegation led by Meghalaya Chief Minister and NPP Chief Conrad Sangma has already met uh, the Union Home Minister uh, Rajnath Singh and is likely to meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi. MNF delegation headed by Chief Minister Joram Thanga has also met uh, Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh and is currently in New Delhi and is expected to also meet the Prime Minister. To discuss the political impact of the bill already passed in a Lok Sabha, but not introduced as yet in the Rajya Sabha, I have with me senior Assam Congress leader Pradut Bordoloi, Assam BJP spokesman Rupam Goswami, AGP Vice President Dilip Bora, AIUDF MLA Aminul Islam in Shillong. I have National People's Party, that is NPP State President W.R. Karluki, and from Imphal, I am joined by Manipur BJP leader and spokesperson Chongtam Bijoy Singh. Gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thanks. Let me begin with you, Mr. Pradut Bordaloi. Do you think the Congress has got its biggest opportunity to once again go to the people and talk about their rights? Do you think the BJP has really not seen, not predict the impact of this move. What do you think? Wasbir, at the very beginning, I want to make it very clear. This is a, not a matter of opportunity. You know, this is a matter of uh, existence. This is a matter of asserting one's identity and keep it intact. Actually, uh, this citizenship amendment bill has been a, a, a hidden agenda of the RSS. For a long time, they were waiting for an opportunity to, to you know, carry forward their social engineering project. They have always been eyeing Assam because they wanted to you know, tilt the balance they always were afraid that the, you know, the Muslims will basically uh, you know, swamp. And then that yeah. is why they were trying to basically carry out a social engineering project. Can you hear me? I can, I can. I can hear you Hello? loud and clear. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So this is a, is a hidden agenda. This has always been okay. the hidden agenda now, of RSC. Now, now Mr. that the BJP has come to power... Yes, carry on. Yeah, so now that BJP has captured power in Assam, and that uh, this is very much, you know, on the agenda of the RSS BJP, so they actually have uh, brought forward this bill. They wanted to enact it, but their, their need for this social engineering project has okay. been now, uh, and there's an urgency in it, because now they are eyeing the 2019 Lok Sabha elections. Okay, I'll, they're I'll very come... sure, and they, are, they, right. they know it. There's, there's... 
I will, I will come back to you, Mr. Bordeloy. Uh, I will go to Imphal BJP spokesman, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy Ching. Uh, Mr. S Mr. Singh, you know, your chief minister, uh, Mr. N. Biren Singh, has recently met central leaders and saying that Manipur should be excluded from the purview of the bill. Now, you are also representing the BJP. Now, your stand is slightly different from the stand of, for example, the BJP leaders in Assam, as well as the central leaders. So how, how would you explain why is this stand? Why are you asking that Manipur should be excluded from the purview of the bill? Uh, you see, Manipur is a small state, but with a very small population. But even then, the ambience and the microcosm in the state is such that we have given the game of polo to the world, Ras Lila and the Nath Sankritan. We have also given magnificent Mary, Mary Com, to, for the country. This is all because of the ex existing ambience and the microcosm in the state. So after the Citizen Amendment Bill 2016 is passed, we feel that the influx of a different group of people with a different language and a different culture will disturb that balance, that microcosm. So earlier, we thought that the bill may not affect uh, our balance here. Right. But because of the public perception here and the sentiment, we decided we must oppose the bill until and unless center give us a mechanism that or assurance that our interests of our people right. will be protected. <coughs> right. I'll that is the, the, our presence. That is why our Honorable CM. Yes, go on. Honorable CM ultimately has announced, and uh, the party is uh, w with the CM also, <coughs> that will oppose the bill until and unless there is a clause inserted in the bill guaranteeing the safety of our state from the possible influx. Right. I, I will come to you, Rupam Goswami, to explain what is Assam's point of view. But Mr. Dilip Bora, uh, you have heard the BJP spokesman, Mr. Chongtham Bijoy Singh from Manipur. Now, it's a very interesting thing. They, are, they have very clearly said that also the, it's the same political party uh, that is the BJP. They're saying that their interest, they're having fears and apprehensions that the interest of the indigenous local people being a small community is going to be uh, uh, in jeopardy because a lot of other people may gain citizenship and may decide to settle down or if they're already there, they will become citizens. Now, do you think, you know, there is a lesson for, from the Manipur uh, stand that the Manipur government has taken for the government in Assam? No, uh, first thing I want to say is that this particular bill is a question of life and death for the indigenous people as well as the citizens of the northeast uh, region because the bill will put the final nail on the coffin of the unique culture of the northeast and also the many languages and ethnic identities of the many uh, smaller tribes and right. communities. Mm -hmm. That is the fear not only in Assam, but also in uh, Meghalaya, in Manipur, even in Nagaland. So that is yeah. what has been articulated has been by Mr. Singh. Biden, and we in EJ, AGP believe it 100%. That is why we have finally decided to quit, to uh, uh, part ways right. with okay. the BJP and then come out of the alliance. Now, Mr. Amilul Islam, uh, I want your reaction to what the BJP spokesperson in Manipur has said. You know, that is pretty much almost the same stand which the BJP in Manipur is taking. They're saying that we are apprehensive that, you know, this bill is going to harm the interest of the indigenous people. Therefore, their leader, the chief minister, has gone and appealed to the central government to exclude Manipur from the purview of the bill. Uh, and and, and they, they want a separate measures to be put in place so that the local people, that is the indigenous people, are not hampered. Uh, do you think the Assam also could have uh, and come up with this kind of a demand before the central government? What is your party's view? What is your personal view? Certainly, <laughs> already we demanded that. We have demanded several times that Chief Minister of Assam, Mr. Sarbananda Sunwal, who have been entitled as Jatiya Nayak, and he should stand with the indigenous people of Assam, and he should react. He should react earlier that 
the people of Assam are against the bill, and people of Assam, they are afraid of identity crisis and crisis of their linguistic and cultural affairs. And so, Mr. Sarbananda Sunwal, we couldn't understand his stand, why he doesn't dare to stand with the people of Assam, like the Chief Minister of Meghalaya and Chief Minister of Mizoram, whenever they being a part of alliance government with BGP, the Chief Minister of Meghalaya and entire government of Mizoram and Meghalaya, Manipur, they can Manipur, prove, they can Manipur go also. against. Manipur they, is BJP only. Manipur in, Manipur in BGP only. And they can stand against the okay. bill. They why, must be, the, why the government of Assam right. can will, stand? Okay, you have made your point. The, you have yeah. made your point. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Karluki, Karluki is the president of the NPP in Meghalaya. Mr. Karluki, do you now think the center's decision to push ahead with the citizenship bill will, will, will bring about a change in the political equations in the entire Northeast? You see, actually, our chief minister and his government were the first to oppose this bill. And the thing is that, you know, it will, it will surely change the equation. Because why I'm saying it, you see, like your NRC have came out. We have a large numbers of illegal, illegal immigrants in the Northeast. D then with this bill coming out, it is uh, what I feel is that it will, you know, it will uh, uh, create an imbalance in the population structure of the Northeast. Yeah. It will affect the it will affect <coughs> the indigenous people of the northeast, and a very clear example. I don't see any difference between the foreigners movement in the northeast during the 1979-80, and this this uh, which I may say was precipitated by the BJP government. I think there will be a lot of reaction from the people if the government goes ahead. All right and pass the bill in the Raja Sabha. Okay, all right. Now, and it will affect the Congress like it affect the, uh, affect the BJP like it affect the Congress in 1985. Okay. Now, Mr. Rupam Goswami, you, you have heard everybody, there is this apprehension, uh, including, most significant, I want your response to the apprehension by your own party colleague, own party <coughs> in, in a state like Manipur. Now, the question being asked is a very simple question asked to you. Why did the government of Assam, or why is your government uh, not coming up with a simple, similar kind of a stand? Uh, we want an explanation from you on this. Uh, look, Mr. Wasbir, the bill, this, the act is of 1955. Yeah. And during that, that Mr. Nehru and Patel also said the people, the minorities, during that time it was Pakistan only. Um, that Bangladesh was not born. That if somebody religiously persecuted, then they may be given shelter in India. So it was very clear because it is it was not their fault that they are in Pakistan. It is somehow a group of people. They decided this will be the part of the Pakistan and this will be India. And the minorities people living in Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, they are not fault. They doesn't know where they will be. So during that time, there was a huge religious persecution, and because of that, they flew from that part. And in the Citizenship Act 1955, it was written that if someone stays in India for 12 years, then he can apply for a citizenship. In fact, this amendment says that if that 12 years has been reduced to six years. Right. And he has to apply. So Nobody, just a minute, there is a confusion <laughs> between many people. Just, I want to clarify. Yeah. He has to apply and yeah. he has to prove himself. Right. That he came from these three countries, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, and Pakistan, of these six communities for religious persecution. It is not that if this bill is passed, automatically they will get the citizen. It is not like that. So, so many people have. So you are saying that you are saying you are saying you are making two points. You are saying that this, this decision has been there from a long time, 
uh, and your government is trying to implement it, and there is a misinformation. I uh, just, I want to. I just, I'll, just, I'll come back to you. Uh, I'll come back but, to you, Mr. Rupam Goswami. I'll have, go to. I have few uh, questions. Yeah. On this. I'll go to Mr. <coughs> Pradut Bordeloy. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come to you, Mr. Oh, okay. Amr Islam. Uh, Mr. Pradut Bordeloy, uh, you know, the, the point that the BJP is making is that, okay, uh, you know, the partition of this country was made on the basis of uh, religion. And in the initial stay, initial years, when the two countries were independent, there were a lot of persecution. And at that time, the BJP leaders are saying that Nehru and Patel had also uh, said that persecuted Hindus should come and stay in India. Now that the BJP government is only trying to implement it uh, uh, with slight modifications. Is it as simple as that? How do you look at it? No, no, not at all. This gentleman from BJP is basically trying to mutilate the history. It is not like this. You know, during the partition of India, obviously they were, you know, religiously persecuted people. There were influx of population. There were out, you know, out exodus of population. That happened, both sides. But things went settled down, and then since 1955, Citizenship Act was in vogue. It was very clear. You see, religiously persecuted people or refugees, there's a Geneva Convention provision also. That is totally different. But if intruders come illegally from other countries, from other sovereign countries, they will be treated as intruders. They are, you know, you, it is not that, that you know, they will be accepted with a red carpet welcome. In fact, with this bill, if it is enacted, it is made very clear. Though Mr. Gen this gentleman, Mr. Goswami, he is trying to tell me, or he is trying to tell your audience, that you know this citizenship uh, naturalization process of 12 years has been you know just de decreased to six years. It is not the point. According to the bill, if it is enacted, anybody, anybody coming from all these three or four countries, uh, Hindus or whatever, uh, Christians or Parsis or whoever, if they come, they will not be treated as intruders. They will not be arrested by police. They will be given, in fact, all kind of shelter. They will so be are given you, are you then They will be allowed to yeah, settle yes, down. Sir, they will be, yes, just, go ahead. And then, he, and he then, has, and then, you see this, then this course will follow. But that is not the point. You see, they will not be treated as a foreigner. They will not be treated as an intruder. You see, they will be accepted as a foreigner. That is what the problem is. And I just want to ask Mr. Pradut Bordeloy. There is a question for you, Mr. Bordeloy. This is a Total what about, uh, what of, about uh, the stand up you know, on Singh when he spoke on uh, in 2003 at Rajya Sabha? What do you say about the no, Mon what Mon is the stand? stand? What is the question? The what question is the question? Is the Mon Mon Singh no, no, we have been very clear. Supported we have been very in clear. Sabha in fact, let in me tell you one thing. The oh, okay, let him respond. Uh, he is asking a question that Mon Mohan Singh. I want to. Yeah. I want to. Yes, Mr. Bordler, please I go on. I want to tell you very categorically and very clearly. Yes, I want to tell very categorically and very clearly. Yes, Congress party has said that religiously persecuted people for humanitarian ground, temporary shelter can be given. Suppose uh, some people are being persecuted in Bangladesh, say, in a hypothetical case. If they come over, they, for humanitarian ground, they may be accepted as refugees, but then never, never ever Congress party has said that these people will be given citizenship. Now, now, one, now, one, now, one, now one, Mr. Bordelow, the ASUS, the all of them, no, Mr. Congress Bordelow, my question to you. That these people no, will no. be given citizenship. Yeah, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bordelow, yeah. Mr. Bordelow, my question to you, you, you the all of Students yes. Union, organizations like ASU is saying, they are having a very simple stand. They are saying that uh, a migrant mm. is a migrant. There cannot be citizenship on the basis of religion. Uh, so, they have a stand. Your stand is slightly different. You are saying that you are you are talking about. You are saying that oh, those no, religious my, my stand is almost same. You see, let let me let, let me tell you. Let me tell you, Wasbir. When we say religious persecution, it could be Muslim, it could be Hindu, it could be anything. We are not trying to differentiate that who is religiously persecuted. Where it only has to be Hindu. We never said that. But on humanitarian ground, what we have been saying that, see, we have always respected the Geneva Convention. That is what the Congress Party reiterated at one point of time. But we have never ever mentioned that all these intruders will be given citizenship. 
If possible, you see, if you remember, when the Bangladesh came into existence, lakhs of people you know, came to Assam. The Indian government gave them shelter. We yeah. all gave them shelter. Yeah. In fact, when Bangladesh came into being before that, a lot of refugees came here. They were given shelters, but they were never given, they were never given citizenship. They were sent back. You know, there was a bilateral discussion, bilateral agreement, and later all these refugees were sent back. No, Not that, only that from Assam, you, from you every corner of India. This is what Congress rights. Party says. There's no you question. You please do not rights. think which citizenship. It is not so, their fault that they fall in Pakistan. So, <coughs> so I'm Islam. <coughs> yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. See, we are not going to give, uh, you know, shelter may be temporary. Shelter for uh, maybe for temporary okay. period, but, you know. But, but then is, those people yeah. cannot be made citizenship. They, okay. they, they cannot be given citizenship. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Amin Islam, make your point. And uh, what I, 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 is I, I'll ask Mr. Dilibora whether yeah. the, how practical it is. Yeah, what Mr. Portalbordal <coughs> is saying, I'll come yeah. to you. But yes, Amin Islam, what is the point you are trying to make? Uh, BJP spokesman Mr. Rupam Goswami, he has indicated that uh, Citizenship Act 1955, there was a provision that who came to India <coughs> for religious persecution, yeah. they will be given citizenship. If he stay uh, live in India for long twelve years, but the question was that the uh, the people who live here for long twelve years and they should should have entered legally, not illegally, not illegal immigrants, <coughs> and no intruders will be given citizenship if he stay here for long thirty or forty years. Also, it should be clear. And number two, the, according to Nehru Liaquat Treaty. That there was a time frame. The who who can, who likes to stay here, who wants to go to Pakistan, yeah. who wants to come to India. Yes. But it is not beyond 1958. It was a time frame. It was not. So you are you are asking a so, question. Why so, 31st December 2014? Is but, that but, is that what you are trying to? The be? 31st December 2014 is not there in the bill. It was uh, a, it was a cabinet decision take. Take, uh, taken it's by the rule, it's a rule. No, no, no. It was we'll a, make it, it was we'll a, make a bill, no issue. cabinet okay. decision we'll taken, like by the, the taken by no. the Torun Gogoi government, <laughs> and they sent a proposal to central government that the uh, people who came uh, before 31st December 2014 they should be given citizenship. It was a cabinet decision taken by the state government and so are, government. You, are you trying to, to, are you trying to yes. let no. I have a specific question for no, you? No, 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 I will but, get, no, no, but no, 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 this bill, no, no. There there is no time frame. The, no, no. Is, are digit. you trying to now? Are you trying to? No. Are you now trying to say that the Congress actually had initiated this move? Uh, is in it this sense? Okay. Thirty-first December two thousand fourteen. No, no, it no, was no, a no, criminal. No, no. Okay, very quickly, Mr. But Mr. in this no, no, bill, no, no. there is no time frame. Okay, he, um, he, he may be. No, yeah. in 2017. So, Mr. Bordelai, you are a cabinet minister. You are a cabinet minister at that point of time. Uh, would you be able to clarify on what Aminul Islam is saying? That this move was actually initiated no, Mr. by the Congress government. Mr. Aminul Islam has hello. Yeah. Yes, gone. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I want to. I <laughs> want to tell you very categorically. I want to tell you very categorically. There was never a cabinet decision of accepting people and giving them citizenship. This is the difference. This is the fault. Even Mr. Aminul Islam is also saying a wrong thing. The cabinet decision says, cabinet decision says, if necessary, on humanitarian ground. People may be accepted, but this cabinet uh, decision or in any manner, never ever Congress government say that lying. they will be given automatically uh, citizenship <laughs> rights. This is, is a lying. wrong interpretation. This is a wrong the message they are trying to give. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, let me, uh, I'll, no, I'll come to Mr. Nilipora's reaction. You, but why don't me... you produce cabinet? Okay, no, 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 it's a wrong. It says all mutilation. It's a wrong and wrong mutilation. You people uh, always take a double step that in Borak <laughs> Valley you say one thing, in, the, in Brahmaputra no, Valley no, you no, say no. You, you are this opposing is the bill. Unlike in you, Borak you, Valley, you are supporting you know, the bill. And your, this, your national president not. Not at all, not at all. Not at all. The Congress Party bill. decision. For, see, on this amendment, like, like, on like this BJP, camp, like BJP, as your own MLAs are giving different persons, let me tell you very clearly. Let me tell you very clearly, the Congress party has a very clear stand. 
that Congress party you does not support the CPCP. I'll go for a Mr. Dilipora. I'll go for a very quick break. Mr. Dilipora, don't try to mutilate things. Don't try to mislead things. Congress party has no clear stand. Mr. Dilipora, it's not a policy. I'll I'll have to go to I'll have to go to Mr. Strongtham Bijoy Singh also. But Mr. Dilipora, you see. Why, why are why do you think I want a clear answer? Why do you think party like the BJP in Manipur is also apprehensive? It is not that there are some opposition party. They no, are the I same have, party. I have already told about this thing that people everywhere in Northeast are apprehensive because the question of their identity, they are not only ethnic identity but also linguistic and cultural identity that is under threat. And that if the more people keep on coming to this country, this more part of the country, Again, more, say, just one moment, let me finish now. I have not. I no, I have not. I have not. Listen, I have not actually interfered in anything so no, far. But you are so just, no, no. I let me you I'm contradict later out. when I finish. No, let my, him speak. Let him speak. When I finish my say, then yeah, you please contradict. Go, please go on. The point is that. This actually builds this new bill, which is giving a time frame, okay, 20, 2014, 31st December. But every time you are setting a precedent, one more amendment will be coming, then yeah. one more date will be refixed. So every government keeps on coming, Wait. they will change that date. Yeah. Accordingly, people will keep on coming. Okay. We are already, in certain cases, we are already in the minority. Right. In certain I will, I'll, I'll, come to, I'll come state. to you, I'll come that to you, is Mr. Why, that is why the people of the yeah. indigenous variety and right. the people who have okay. already been citizens of Assam as recognized uh, by the Assam Mr. Accord. Mr. So Mr. they are all happy I'll, I'll, I'll have tomorrow. To, I'll have to go for a keep break. on happening, uh, then yeah. we Mr. will lose Mr. all our identity, including uh, ethnic, cultural, and right. linguistic. Uh, yeah. Mr. That is Mr. why we are afraid and that is why we are opposing this bill. Right. Mr. 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 Chongtam Bijoy, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, you know, I'll have to go for a break and I'll come back straight to Mr. Prudut Bordler. But Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, uh, you see, uh, basically, you know, uh, you, your party, that is the BJP, must have come out in opposing the bill after a careful discussion, isn't it? Oh, yes. Uh, you see, Manipur is a uh, total area of 22,327 square mile. Out of that, 1,843 square mile is the valley. Yeah. The rest is the hill district. Yes. The hill districts are already protected because uh, of the certain tribal laws. They are inhibited by the tribals of Manipur. The valley is a home to a sizable number of Muslim population. The Muslim in here in Manipur, other tongue is Manipuri. Their culture is the same. They have been living here since <laughs> centuries, since generations. And they have contributed quite a lot to the development and history of Manipur. And uh, the Citizen Amendment Bill has cast a kind of insecurity in their mind. That is our main concern. So we have decided uh, what our minister uh, has taken the, the stand. And uh, moreover, uh, Mr. Hussein, I, I would like to put some clarification from the Congress spokesperson regarding very quickly, very APCC, quickly, I'm going for a break. MPCC very quickly, taken Regarding the citizen uh, amendment bill, because in 19, since 1947 onward, the Congress Working Committee has taken a decision. The Content of who is, is the same as the Citizen Amendment Bill 2006. Okay, you are saying that then, Congress was also uh, 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 coming up with the same May, bill with the BJP. I'll come back to you. Prime Minister I'll, I'll come back to you, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy. Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, Bordenoy, I have to go for a break. Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, hold on. I have to come for a. I'll go for a break. But when I come back, I'll go to straight to Mr. Portal Bordeloy for his comments. Okay, welcome back. I'm going straight to Mr. Pradut Bordeloy. Uh, Mr. Pradut Bordeloy, we have breaking news coming in right now. We have breaking news that the District Congress President of Haila Kandi, Mr. Rahul Roy, has resigned. He has resigned in a letter to the Congress President, Assam Pradesh Congress President, uh, Mr. Ripun Bora. Mr. Rahul Roy has said they cannot 
opposed the bill because he said that he was a Bengali Hindu and he cannot go against the interest of the community and therefore he has resigned. Now my question is, like, I will ask the same question to the BJP, like at least four BJP MLAs have openly come out against the bill. Similarly, some Congress leaders have come out in support of the bill. For example, Rahul Roy. Uh, how, how is this contradiction in Assam, for example? See, uh, uh, Wasbir, this is called occupational hazard for uh, Mr. Rahul Roy or some certain politicians in their local areas. So that is a pressure, that biotic pressure, that they are under pressure. So obviously you have to accept it. But holistically, let me be very clear, the Congress party stands by the decision of the Assam Pradesh Congress party. And then I want to just cite one example because I have noticed, I have observed that uh, BJP spokesmen from uh, Manipur or even this gentleman from Assam, they are trying to cite some, uh, you know, some instances and all. I want to make it very clear. In 1946 January, when the legislative assembly elections in Assam was taking place, the Assam Pradesh Congress Committee in its manifesto very categorically said and this is still in consistency and continuity, that the Congress party will always respect the linguistic affinity of a particular state. And in Assam, the Congress party will always stand by and always strive and always work for maintaining the identity of the local identity okay. of now, the Assam. Okay, now, my, my, my follow-up question... And that's... Yes, Mr. Bordeloy, that is why. Uh, my follow-up question to yeah. you, my follow-up yes. question to you, now that you have said that you can go to any extent, the Congress can go to any extent to protect the indigenous people, indigenous identity of the people of the, of the state, my question is very direct. Now, will the Congress yes. in Assam be willing to work together with the Okham Gana Parishad and other parties who are also opposed to the Citizenship Amendment Bill? Is the, is, do you expect a new political realignment in Assam? Is it possible? See, the realignment for capturing power is a different matter. But why not to defeat the RSS BJP diabolic design? You know, this kind of you know, blatantly communal polarization politics that they are doing. Of course, we can always team up with any like-minded political, secular and rational and liberal political parties what like about uh, AGP and all other parties, of course we can okay. team up. Right. Now, Aminul Islam is sitting here. He represents the AIUDF. The AIUDF is equally opposed to the bill. So is the AIUDF also a potential ally for the Congress in no. Assam? No. I want, to, I want to make it very clear for us... RSS, BJP is a communal party, same is AIUDF, because they thrive on religious polarization. We may not be able to team up with a political party like AIUDF. So, but the liberal, rational, secular political parties <coughs> we can, of course, team up to defeat this design of RSS, BJP. No, no, Mr. Wasbir. Uh, Aminul also, we, I'm sure you have a response. No, no, yes, Rupam. Mr. Wasbir. Congress always speaks like that, but in reality, they are the communal. They are all, they always want to use this minority as a vote bank because you see the economic conditions of the minority people. They are always, they always like, you know, um, divide and rule. They are only following the divide and rule. They are only hunger for the power. For power, they can go to any <laughs> Who extent. Who is saying that? They can go to any extent. Who is extent. saying that? I then can't even see his face. Because they have opposed the Assam agitation. Mr. Padu Bhatloi, Congress has opposed the Assam agitation. And see, you I have want to make it very clear. Was so can, you, can you, you give me a chance? Because I can't see you. I am not letting all this. Let him speak. Okay, let him, you have heard. Let him respond. Yes, Padu Bhatloi. You are saying something. See, one thing I want to make it very clear, Assam movement, the Congress party brought a solution to Assam movement. Assam movements, you know, the negative aspects of Assam movement, of course Congress didn't support all these. The Ugra Jatiyata Party, you know, there is chauvinist activities of the Assam movement were of course detested 
and not agreed by Congress party, but it was the Congress party, the, you know, the late Prime Minister of India, Rajiv Gandhi. No, you are bound to make the accord. With the you are bound. You are bound. The Assam people have made you bound. And the Assam accord you was have, signed. You have that categorically opposed the Assam agitation. And number two, because number it, two, it, it is it it, it harms no, your no, vote we, bank. We, you are categorically we have opposed the Assam agitation. And the legitimacy of Assam movement. Let's you have see. Kill 850 young blood. I want to blood. tell you that this is this Mr. is Bordeaux, again trying to misrepresent the history. Not only that, we always many people have no no no. We always oppose the chauvinism. We always oppose, no, I, uh, Basbi, can you hear me? I can, go on. I can hear we you. We always oppose, we always oppose the chauvinism associated with Assam movement. But it was the Congress party who gave the Assam accord and brought a solution by giving the legitimacy why you of the basic that, that apprehension of the Assam yes. people. That is why Assam Accord was six signed. Six long years. It was, have, it was the, the Assam Accord was signed. Six long years. Assam Accord was signed. Assam Accord was signed. No, let by me, the Congress no, party. No, Islam, people should no, not forget Mr. it. Don't forget Mr. 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 Pradut Bodloy has said that AODF also, AIODF also believes in the politics of polarization. Mm. Uh, that is the charge. That is the, not just Pradut Bodloy. That is the general charge. So how do you respond? See, first of all, nobody who says that UDF, AIUDF is a communal or a, a communal political party. First of all, I challenge them. A single example, if they can, they they have to put a single example that AIUDF have uttered. Any leader of AIUDF have uttered a single word against any other tribe, any other religion, religion or any other religious groups or religious mm -hmm. persons. Yeah. And AUDF always, I, I can challenge that in Assam, only AGP can compete with AUDF in cases of nationality or Zati okay, Because okay, AUDF, okay, okay. AUDF yeah. always, we are you in are a single stand the that, the no, no, there, we Don't are always, forget. our stand is clear that we are not able, we are not, we are not agreed to accept any foreigners. We are not agreed to accept any foreigners who came after 1971. He may be Hindu or Muslim. We want to solve the foreigners issue, foreigners problem on the basis of Assam Accord. It is only, clearly it is supported okay. by AGP only, Let me. but Congress also sometimes so, plays double. Uh, I have to ask a question. And BJP is against that. Okay, I'll have, to, I'll have to ask both Rupam Goswami and Dilip Bora a question, but let me go to Mr. Kharluki in Shillong. Uh, Mr. Kharluki, you know, what kind of changes in political equations can one expect now in the northeastern region? Because the NPP, which is also an NDA ally, now, your chief minister is in New Delhi today. He had met Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh and said that, you know, the bill should be scrapped. Uh, you know, uh, that bill is uh, not congenial for the Northeast or Meghalaya. The bill should be scrapped. Now, my question to you, what kind of political equations, what kind of changes do you see? What I've foreseen from this is that the outcome of this there will emerge a strong regional force in the Northeast, which I feel it is high time. And you know, the birth of NPP, which, uh, which was formed by our late leader, P.A. Sangma, is this was the main idea. This was the main idea, and that is to unite the people of Northeast under one political banner. We are, I think it is high time that we should depend on ourselves. We are sending not less than 25 MPs to Parliament. And if we have one solid block together, I think they will not be right. able to do whatever they like with us. Now, now, Mr. Karluki, you know, the NPP stand is very clear. Now, are you comfortable having the BJP as your alliance partner in Meghalaya? Uh, I mean, what? how are you doing it? How are you managing? You see... We are waiting for them. We'll see because ultimately, if it's passed on the Rajas, uh, if it's passed by the Raja Sabha, then we will sit as a party and we'll make our decision. But at the same time, like I was telling, like in the case, in the case of our state, both the BJP minister himself also supported the bill, 
uh, uh, the minister also supported uh, the government in opposing the bill, and even his MLA, uh, MLA Mr. Sanbor Shulai, came out in the paper that they right. are against no, the bill. No, uh, no, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, Mr. Chongtam, I know that your chief minister, uh, I know that your chief minister has requested your central leaders as well as the central government uh, that you know Manipur should be excluded from the purview of the bill. Now. It is almost now clear that the central government, uh, the, the BJP-led government has made up its mind to get the bill passed. That is, of course, clear. Uh, even if it is not passed in the Rajya Sabha, we may see an ordinance. But my question is, what will be the stand of the BJP in Manipur in that case? Because your government is very, very uh, uh, fragile in the sense that you depend on the support of the four NPP legislators. And so it's a very, very delicate situation, isn't it? You see, before uh, I answer your question, I want to continue my question to the Congress spokesperson. The Congress spokesperson said that the Citizen Amendment Bill 2016 is a hidden agenda of the RSS and the BGP combined. Then why did the Congress leader endorse it earlier? For example, on 18 December 2003, Dr. Manmohan Singh, the leader of the opposition the Raj Sabha, in his speech, he demanded the same content of the citizenship bill to be uh, to be implemented. Then again, to, in 2011, Assam government under uh, Chief Minister Tarun Gogoi took a cabinet decision. After that, on 2012, April 20, Sri Tarun Gogoi sent a memorandum to the then Prime Minister, uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh. And soon after that, the Congress, uh, Assam Pradesh Congress Committee, President Anjan Datta, also the same similar decision, uh, similar right. to the content okay. of this citizenship okay. amendment so bill. Unfortunately, Why is then that the Congress is taking a different stand now? Okay. Now, you have made your point. And, uh, Chong I, Bijoy. Think I request for an explanation right. from the Congress spokesperson there. Right. Unfortunately, Chongtam Bijoy, the Congress spokesperson has left the program because he has another engagement. He has just left the program because he has an engagement and I will not be able to answer on his behalf. Now, uh, you know, uh, now, Mr. Dilibora, uh, I'm not seeking an answer. You, I'm not asking you to speak on behalf of the Congress. But my question is, what Mr. Chongtam Bijoy is saying, we, you see, uh, government is a continuing process. The earlier government, if Mr. Chongtam Bijoy has given specific examples, including dates, he says that that's what the same point was made by Mr. Rupam Goswami also. He said that Dr. Manmohan Singh has placed a similar demand in the Rajya Sabha. And Mr. Chongtam has said that Torun Gogoi, the then chief minister representing the Congress party, he has also come up with a cabinet uh, decision and has approached the center, which was, of course, denied a little while ago by Mr. Pradut Bordeloi. Now, now, why is this? Is this just the politics uh, in before a major election? How, how do you look at it? No, I actually, uh, actually we in the B AZP believe that uh, no, no national that, level like political to, parties uh, just will one ever serve the interest of the people of the Northeast. That is why we always advocated for a confederation of regional parties in the Northeast so that we can have the entire 25 members of the parliament belonging to the regional parties of the Northeast who will in one voice articulate the problems of the Northeast, the demands of the Northeast people and for maintenance of their identity, both their ethnic identity as well as cultural and linguistic fine, identity. Fine, fine, but you have not that answered my why, question. No, I have my, answered your no, question. No, you have that, not answered my question. No, what is, is your question? My I question have told is, that my question is, is, are these is, issues, are talking of are these, are these the, issues is there, raised by people only during a major no, election? No, this is the this is the point we are hammering. Since no, I am not asking part. about the AGP. Since As I a am about the national parties, no, 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 I have already no. told. I the national am about the national parties. Both the national parties, yeah. both the national parties both I have told. Parties both the national parties, parties yeah. always both, bring up yeah. the same thing again and again yeah. to divert the attention of the people from their real problems no. and get their votes during the uh, forthcoming elections. Rupam, what is your We are not doing it. We are always advocating the interest of the people. The major allegation that the two national parties rake up these issues to divert attention of the people during a major Election. Now we have a major election. By and they no, could no. not do anything. Rupam, Rupam. This sixth, uh, clause, please, 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 please
Uh, I'm not interfering you. I am talking about Wazbi. Yes, now, now let Rupam respond. Yes, please. Yeah, now okay. you can go ahead. Okay. Uh, so actually, you know, the, what about the problems left by the Congress? The BJP is trying to solve one by one. Already we have solved the issues of Bangladesh land issues. Now the bordering, chilling the border. Now this citizenship bill. We are trying to solve even the Assam Accord. AZP was there in the power for two terms. And they got five prime ministers like I.K. Gujral, uh, <coughs> Chandra Sekhar, and like five ministers. They have never tried to solve the Assam Accord. But they have formed the, this party out of the agitation. And their main agenda is to how to protect Indian and indigenous people or indigenous Aspis people. But they could not. They have done nothing. You know, even after the, even in fact the Assam Accord, the Profula Mahanta, when he has made the accord, he has not taken a, any voice from the any people of people of Assam. Even the main architect of the Assam agitation, Nibar and Bara, he opposes the uh, this 1971 because the agitation was for 1951. Why then you, this right. 855 people they have given their life not to get right. 1971? Let me, let me but, give you. I mean, Islam, you know, uh, both Mr. Dilip Bora and earlier Mr. Karluki, the NPP president, said that you know. Uh, the opposition to the citizenship amendment bill, I was asking the question whether there is a new political realignment likely. Now, Mr. Karluki said a strong regional party is the need for the northeastern region so that the entire regional forces can come together and, uh, and have a common block in parliament and raise the voice of the north. But, you know, we have tried this even earlier. But now, for example, you are a regional party. You are an important regional party in the state, like the AGP, and the very important party, regional, regional party. party. But my question is, uh, can regional parties uh, really come together? Yeah, I I am agree. I'm not 100%. asking about AGP and AIUD. No, 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 that is no, not no, my yes. question. I'm asking but, a general. I am. I'm I am, asking a general question. I am hundred percent agree with the idea that there should be a. Confederation of regional confederation parties. of regional parties or a single that but may be a single national party. No, but our you're, actually you're our recognition is election well, in UP, but, but, Bihar, and no, no, no. Our recognition is you are regional. A national party. Our recognition <laughs> is regional, not national. <laughs> our, we, our recognition we got our be, recognition. Be transparent to the public. No, no. Let, how does it matter? Let's not bother about that. Our what about recognition the NPP is then? as a what about the NPP? Uh, our regional party. Anyway. But there may be a single party or a confederation of uh, regional parties. Answer not, the question. Yeah. Yeah. This this is you think need it's a of good time. Idea? This is need of, need time, of time right now. now because because yeah. all the both the national parties both the national parties are cheating the people of Assam and the people of Northeast again and again by means only to get votes. Okay, Chongtham Bizoy and BJP is going but, to pass. BJP is going to pass the bill only to gather voters no, from no, Bangladesh. No, but, no, no, Bangladesh. No, 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 the Hindu Bangladesh will be their permanent voters. No, but let me... No, 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 Rupam, Rupam, hang on. Let me go to, let me go to Mr. Chongtham Bizoy. Who also belongs to a national party, that is the BJP, which is the ruling co coalition, he is heading the government in Manipur. Now, uh, Mr. Chongtam Bijoy, you know, now after your party's open stand, nobody can accuse you of sacrificing the interest of the indigenous people. So, uh, how, how are you managing, because this, is, this has put people like Mr. Rupam Goswami in a spot. Your decision to oppose the bill has put your colleague in the studio from Assam in a spot. How do you explain this? No, I don't think Assam and Manipur has slightly different situation. But this bill is a national but bill. I am very this bill, this to bill see is a nationwide bill. Our, this bill is a nationwide bill. The panelists bill. there, as well as the people of Assam, seems to have forgotten the letter written by Prime Minister Nehru to the First Chief Minister of Assam, Gopinath Bordoloi, in that letter, the letter was dated 18 May 1949. In that, Prime Minister Nehru has openly armed to state Chief Minister Bordoloi to accept all the refugees from the then East Pakistan and give them amenities such that, which is equivalent to granting them citizenship. 
Why has the Assamese people, as well as our fellow panelists here, has forgotten that very letter of Prime Minister Nehru? Bullying the regional minister. But then situation was Bordogon. different. I then think there that was this should be remembered in, in the context of the both in Citizen Pakistan Amendment and India. Bill 2016. And then India was burning and Instead Pakistan of putting was burning. Blame on other and a thing, riots and calling the bill as then. a hidden. But Right now, the now the situation is quite different. Right the now, Congress must right now the situation now is now it's that. clear that you are for the foreigners. No, no, no. Then in 1914, just after independence, now, in 1950, your, in 1950, then also both the, the continent your party was burning. Has formed the Indian continent was burning. There was a no, no. Indian continent was burning in 1950 also. Your then the situation was quite different. Came out very and then, uh, by then speech. it was. It was uh, okay, but the, the reference should not be taken to consider right now because right now the continent so is you're, not you're, burning. You are arguing but that the situation you, is different. Okay, on that okay, note, we'll go. On that note, we'll go for a Muslim short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Mr. Karluki, an NPP delegation is currently in uh, New Delhi. Now, you have said that bills should be, uh, uh, you know, removed, uh, totally scrapped. Now, what are the main demands? Your delegation is also led by Mr. Conrad Sangma, the chief minister, is also likely to meet the prime minister. You see, they will try to meet the home minister and the prime minister himself. And their demand is to, to exempt North East India from this bill. But to I, exempt North East India from the bill, Amin Islam, I'll come but, to you. But Mr. Karluki, uh, you know, can you give an overview how this bill is, according to you, likely to impact the North East? Mr. Konrad Sangba also threatened that he will resign from his Even when job, that an, if NRC the bill came, there were Today, almost 40, yes, 50 lakhs him, illegal immigrants in the North East. Then I don't know what I've just seen through the, you know, some of the organization in Assam, they said, with this bill, there will be an additional 20 lakhs. So where is the indigenous people? It will be an imbalance of uh, population. So indigenous people will be swam away by those uh, we make <sighs> till date. So long as the bill is not passed, we can term them as foreigners. You see, the 1979-80-81, at that time, I was a student leader. I was very much involved in the movement. Yeah. We were afraid that the whole region will be swarmed by, you know, foreigners. So that, that was the agitation. And that was why the Assam Accord came. No. So, so now, yeah, now it seems that they are trying to undo all what Assam Accord has okay, now, uh, uh, came up with. Right. Now, Mr. Ha Mr. 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 Karluki, you know, uh, the lone BJP MLA, in Meghalaya, which is your ally, Mr. A.L. Hack. Mr. Hack is also opposing the bill. Now, my question is, will the NPP be willing to take Mr. Hack in the NPP fold if he decides to quit the BJP? Because there will be no anti-defection. He's just one MLA. Well, we will see when, when the time arrives. Because I cannot comment now. He has not made up his mind in that way. So I cannot comment now. We'll see when the time arrives. Yeah, now it's a very peculiar situation, Rupam Goswami. It's a very peculiar situation for you. You are sitting here in the studio in Guwahati. Your colleague, uh, Mr. Uh, Chongtam Bijoy Singh, is sitting in the, our studios, our uh, associate studios in, 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 in uh, Imphal. Now, it's a very peculiar situation. Uh, Mr. Chongtam is saying that they oppose the bill because the interest of the indigenous people comes first. Now, you are... You are supporting the bill, but <coughs> now it's a diffi already difficult situation. It's added. Your problems are added because at least three to four BJP MLAs in Assam out of your 61 have also now come out into the open opposing the bill. Now, what kind of a situation? Because you have to take this issue seriously. You can't just brush it aside. There are also four of your own MLAs. No, no. My, our own four MLAs 
They, you they, have to come up with a logical explanation. Yeah, obviously, I will come with a very logical explanation. Yeah. You know, it, and, uh, and you cannot also have forget that your colleague, exactly, Mr. Songtham, exactly. is sitting it in Imphal. Like, it is an apprehension only. For last two, three months, you know, when this uh, joint parliamentary came to Assam to take the views of the people, from then onwards, these things are always misinterpreting by many people, you know. So that's why the they, everybody is, uh, this is only an apprehension. In reality, because the Assam is also getting that six clause six of the Assam Accord to uh, like a constitutional safeguard, administrative safeguard, and a legislative safeguard. You know, because we are here to protect and uh, protect the indigenous people. We are the people who give the pattas, land pattas to the indigenous people. Prior to this, no government has given any. Uh, so your stand pattas. is completely contrary to the stand of Mr. Songtham Bijoy no, no, Singh no, no. in exactly. Nepal. But Absolutely look, contrary. This is an adjustment. This is an apprehension. Yep. This is only an apprehension. So in you reality, are not apprehensive, yeah, and not Songtham Bijoy Singh is apprehensive. No, no, you know. That is what you, you know. know. It's, it's you, a, you, you are how not you, apprehensive. How you think? You know how you yeah, think. Yeah, but but now very clear. I have to tell my viewers. So you are not apprehensive. Even our four MLAs. They are, that that is their apprehension. So now, uh, yesterday, um, uh, our uh, National General Secretary, Ramadam, yes. has uh, talked with them. And now they, they came to understand, okay, this is not going to harm the indigenous people of right. Assam. Now, 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 top BJP leaders in Assam, Mr. Sabananda Sonwal, the chief minister, Mr. Himanto Mr. Sharma, has, of, of course, uh, categorically said that the interest of the indigenous people are not going to be hampered. Now, but, Mr., Mr. Yes, Aminul, you, know, you but, are saying something. I'll go to but Mr. There, but there is. Yes. Uh, uh, there is some problems that Mr. Rupam Gusami once he said that uh, the Assam Accord has, uh, it was signed uh, that and it was, uh, the cut-off date was 24th March perhaps. Yeah, 24th March uh, 1971. March 1971, yes. Yeah, what is, it what was is not, he, he doesn't agree with this and he is saying that it was a wrong decision, it should be 1951. Say, so he has suppose, not said it today. Suppose no, he said it uh, already, no, no, no. and I have I have written down here. He's, he's but he's he, but if it was wrong to be, uh, legitimize the uh, foreigners of twenty years, now how they are going to add another foreigners? I think that's a logical question. question. I think I think Rupam Gosami. Seven years. You have to after answer this. After seventy one, yeah, yeah, yeah. The foreigners uh, we have understood seven the years We have understood. We have how, understood. How it is going? So he's he, he, the question. I understand yeah, the question. Please respond. Yes. You know, the, this citizenship bill is for... Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Hussain. Yes. I would like to say this is Mr. Hussain. This is yeah, I'm coming to you only. This Just give me two minutes. This is yes. for the nation. The citizenship mm. bill is not for only for Assam, you know. He has to understand. And it was, again, again, I'm repeating the same thing. What I said in the very, my um, re remarking, uh, in the beginning remark, that... The, when nation was partition on the basis of religion, the people resided in the Pakistan, then Pakistan, um, the minority uh, community. No, it was not their fault. Yeah, it's no, answered the question clearly. But, and, but, but question. Answer 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 clearly. No, no, let me so, ask you the question. Let yeah, me ask you look, the question. Look, look, in, look, no, no, Aminul Wait. Not for the basis of religion. No, 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 that is immaterial. No, let me ask you the question. Rupam, give me a minute. Give me 20 seconds to ask you the question. Question which Aminul wanted to know is that. The cut-off date in the Assam Accord is 24th March, mm. 1971. You are saying that the cut-off date should have been 1951. Yes. So it you are saying that it should have been pushed back by 20 years. Yes. Now, yes. now he is asking the question, why now you want to have a cut-off date of 31st December 2014 to accord citizenship to a section of people? Another, so 47, is, no, another no, 47 years. No, let, let, <laughs> let, let him answer. Because this is a question which we, 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 the people would like an answer from you. Because these people are religiously persecuted okay. in the partition of India, Pakistan and India. You know, Islam, the Muslim people came from Bangladesh. They are not religiously persecuted. They came to Assam with an agenda. And but, your party formed but, after I am detained. But for that. But, but for, for, your, for your clarification, for your clarification, in the Muslim people from yeah, Bangladesh, you are, you are your lying. party have formed. You are lying because in the Why recent, year, in the recent the parliamentary election, in the recent well. parliamentary election in Bangladesh, 19 Hindu parliamentarians have been elected, and out <laughs> of them, three cabinet ministers from Hindu community. Only eight percent Hindus are Newly, there in Bangladesh. Only eight percent Hindus are there in Bangladesh. Out of those eight percent, three cabinet. 
finance minister what have was been the percentage in the during the party so and tell you me. know you know that what deputy the speaker deputy speaker of the parliament chief justice of the supreme court and the chief of the army all they, those are hindus in bangladesh and okay. how are you going to say that they are persecuted and the, they are availing their 29% of government and job. why one okay, yeah, why your hindus are why muslim why, people your people came to us and tell me okay, okay, let 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 why muslim people came to us they are anyway anyway you can give me answer you are you can give me answer rss people are saying you can get their slanging match no no it cannot be it cannot be you give me the answer it cannot be a slanging match let me go to yes sangtham bijoy what is your point that you wanted to make No, you said that the state of our state government or our party has embarrassed our colleague there in the studio, but it is not so. Because, you know, the BJP is a national party with a regional outlook. Yeah. So, at certain areas, we have to go with the perception of the people, with the sentiment of the people. The perception and the sentiment of the people of Pipu is different than that of Assam. Or it is maybe, again, different in Meghalaya. In Manipur, a, the four uh, MLA of NPP is our coalition partner. And they also have, they are still in our government. We are participating together. They have just said that they will see the development of the bill. But since our demand and the response of the central government, the modification is expected and we are confident of that. After that, all our coalition partners, other dissenters, I think. <coughs> It will come back to us all. Thank right. you. In you are, also, they, they are, are in the coalition. You know, the you are, you are, of the people. So you are, your party, your, your party, NPP is a coalition of your party in Manipur because you are speaking the same language. The BJP <coughs> in Manipur and the NPP is speaking the same language. But Dilip Bora, the, the bigger question, the bigger question, uh, the, no. you see, do you expect a new political realignment in the northeastern region? No, before, that I, before that, I want to clarify one of the points raised by Rupam Goswami. No, it is when he says that the AZP government speak, does not do anything for implementation see, of in Assam Manipur, Accord. The BJP for and information, NPP I also, say that the implementation of Assam Accord is responsibility of the Home Ministry. Of the people, well, and we have published it. Just one moment. Since then the people has elected we have us, repeatedly we have to follow their sentiment the too. Government that is the problem. To implement the Assam Accord in uh, spirit and as well as later in spirit and in total. Accordingly, certain implementation, certain provisions were implemented, like the uh, border fencing and other things. It took time. But the implementation was done only at the behest of the AGP government. And then also for development purposes, <coughs> development purposes, the government of India should give us 90% has grant, that was also done by no, AGP. So Mr. The, he has no, you said have five prime and, and just one moment. Five pause, prime minister, pause, sir. Just one little, I, am the, I am telling you that don't interrupt me mm. in between. Uh, you can no, do I it just later. Want to no, you can do it sir. later. Then I what happened? I just then want clause, to add clause, six, no, okay, clause six. Clause six, there was a vexed issue of who is Assamese. That definition could not be settled during the entire period. Until today, it has not been. Settled. That is why the Clause 6, the Constitutional Safeguard and others could not be implemented at that time. Even though AGP government tried its very best. Because they no, are, it Mr. has Mr. been Ivar, discussed. Ivar, Ivar now, 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 now one moment. You have asked me one more question. That is there a possibility of realignment of political forces? I have always told, before and also I was telling, that it is politics is always a fluid thing. It is a dynamic thing. It depends on various factors, the situations that is developing in a particular region, the interest of the people that has to be uh, pre uh, actually that is given to be the priority. All these things have to be taken into consideration when political alignments are taking place. Whenever new ideas will come up, then we will definitely go for different kind of alignment. That is definitely necessary. As I have told that there is a need of the hour to have a confederation of uh, the regional parties in North is not only in Assam. So <coughs> then the maximum representative to the parliament can be sent from the regional parties right. of Assam now, to uh, represent the people's okay. interest there. Absolutely. Now, Mr. Chongtam Bizoy, you made a very important point. You have been extremely clear in your uh, uh, expressions. Now, you have said that BJP in Manipur is opposing the bill because uh, there is an apprehension that it will go against the interest of the indigenous people. That is the reason why your chief minister has put it on record by meeting the central leaders that this bill should uh, exclude Manipur from its purview. My question to you now is that you have also said that BJP is a national party with a regional outlook. Now, uh, suppose the bill is passed 
and Manipur is not excluded from the purview of the bill, then do you have a strategy already decided? <coughs> Can you tell the people of Manipur today from this show no, till... that what is the BJP government in Manipur going to do? Uh, you see, uh, till today we have confidence on our central leaders. But your question will be answered only after the bill is passed <coughs> in the Rajasthan <coughs> without inserting the clause we demanded or not. Until then, we are sure, we feel very confident that the bill will be uh, passed with certain clause inserted in protection of the Manipur indigenous people. Now, as a BJP leader, Mr. Chongtham Bijoy, Manipur is demanding exclusion, Meghalaya is demanding exclusion, Mizoram is also demanding exclusion, uh, Nagaland is also almost saying the same thing. Uh, you know, uh, so now the point is, uh, and even in Assam, some BJP leaders, are, uh, at least four MLAs, are speaking the same language as you are speaking. Now, now, what is your advice to being a... See, at the end of the day, it is the regional... When you are strong regionally, only then the party can be strong at the national level. Now, what is your... What are you going to... What should be the message that the BJP central leadership should get, according to you? No, since my uh, experience in the BJP for 24, 25 years, I have learned that our central leaders have very good experience of accommodating all regional aspiration, all dissent, right. along with the national interest in tech. I have trust in my party leaders. I have seen in my eyes also earlier, BJP leaders are different from other party. They will accommodate all the regional aspiration, and at the end of the day, everybody will not be objecting. They will be happy. They will feel secure. So, would you say the same thing, Rupam Goswami? Exactly, that, you, exactly. see, you are also making it very clear that there are exactly, apprehensions, exactly. fears. Do you think? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Do you think at the end of the day, uh, the 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 bill may have uh, major modifications so that the fears and apprehensions are removed? Exactly. Do you think? I agree with you. But it's already but, been passed but, by the Lok Sabha. But but in Assam, the, the situation is quite different because <laughs> you want to put some fire, no, no, right? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. But bill has already no, been no, passed no. in the Lok Sabha. Yeah, yeah, it's already, already been passed. So, in the Lok Sabha. so what kind of changes you can make now? No, no, we will have a discussion because we can give some other safeguards to the other people. Uh, no, 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 what do you think? The safeguard to the other people by another step, it is not the question. But our question is the exactly the bill. Because, you are very, because, very, no, very no, happy no, that your no, agenda no, no, is fulfilling, no, no, right? No, not, not our agenda. Putting but fire see, to see, the... <laughs> see, first of all, I, I would like to thank Mr. Conrad Sangma, the chief minister. But you have Megalaya. not answered one the, my the, question. This, see, first of all, I have to clear my stand. Mr. Conrad Sangma, he is not not in a position you talk about yourself why are you talking about he, our he, party he, he is not in why, a position why you are talking about our alliance party please don't disturb please <laughs> Let me conclude. <laughs> and Mr. Conrad Sangma is not in a position that if BJP withdraws support, then his government will fail to continue. But he can continue, he can run his government smoothly. And being that, he simply he could have withdraws his support from uh, BJP or he, he should came out from the alliance of BJP, but he challenged today and he gave the ultimatum to the uh, central home minister today that if the bill is, is passed in the Rajya Sabha, then I will I am going to resign from the ship ministership. Okay, from, from fine. We'll have to wait and watch and, what he does. I, we, we don't expect, know what he we is going to do. He said very thing. politely. We he has not given any ultimatum. No, we expected the same. We ex expected the same from Mr. Sarbanda Surwal. Okay, you expected the same. We expected the same from Mr. Sarbanda Surwal. Being the Zatiyanayog, being Zatiyanayog, he should have Don't try to solve your purpose. No, no. Your purpose will never be solved. Okay, okay. Let me go to Mr. Karluki. Mr. Mr. Karluki, Mr. Karluki, your point is made. Mr. Karluki, Mr. Mr. Karluki, what could be the center's main aim in get, trying to pass the citizenship amendment bill? Or do you think uh, there could have been an alternative way of uh, you know humanitarian assistance to people? At the end of the day, the BJP's argument that uh, India is a natural refuse for the minority Hindus in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan, that also you cannot throw it that easily. Uh, that that argument also has uh, uh, logic behind it. Uh, what is the main objective according to you for this bill? 
I don't know what is their objective, but from my point of view, I feel that they are, you know, uh, they uh, they they don't uh, they don't take our sentiment into consideration. I don't know for what reason. Though they try to say that they will do this, they will protect us, they will, you know. But, you know, by passing the bill, which means they are hurting the sentiment of the people, they have seen agitation everywhere. And I'll tell you a very clear example is they should read history. 1979-80 movement, all this, the whole of North East, and I think they should write VI, they should read V.I.K. Serene book. Right. North East in okay. flame. So that now, they will now know. Mr. Karluki, again I am asking I this question. Again, I am asking you this question. You are a veteran political leader. Uh, is political realignment on the cards? In Manipur, the BJP led government is running with NPP support. What kind of political realignments do you think is coming? You see, with regards, my, my point is this that I think it's high time that the people of Northeast look to a party of their own not to depend on these national parties like the BJP or the Congress. Because like I told you, in 1979-80 movement, it was the Congress who was ruling, you know, 80-81 Congress who was ruling in Delhi. And then now it was BJP. My feeling is that the people of Northeast should look to a party who represent the aspiration of the people. Now, Almost uh, many states in India, they are having this regional aspiration. So but we also, I think true. it's high time if okay. the people who are ruling in Delhi do not take recognitions of us, the people of the Northeast. It is high time that we unite now, and now. form a party of our own and we will be very strong, a strong lobby in okay. parliament. Now, 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 Mr. Dilip Bora, now... If we ask you the question whether regionalism is relevant, take the, take the results of the Panchat elections. Your party has fared so miserably, although if we have to assume that the street agitations, if we have to take the meter, if you have to gaze the public mood from the street agitation, that was not reflected in the Panchayat election. See, now you will say that Panchayat election is different because the, the, uh, every ruling party, people vote for the Panchayat election. But it's an election at the end of the day. People could have actually voted against the BJP, but they did not. You, BJP has swept the election in Assam. No, they have not swept. You are wrong again. You are putting wrong things. Uh, of course, BJP public. has won with a clear majority. Fine. They have, Fine. In their no, no, they but have, they have emerged the massive now, majority. You see, the Congress has also got more than 30 percent uh, shares happy? of the vote. More than 30 percent they happy? have got. No, I am happy or not happy. This is, I am fact. I am talking about okay, facts. Okay, why did the now people point, why did the people elect the BJP? See, now BJP is the ruling party that I have already told earlier that they want that the development should take place in the villages. The money should not be stopped because uh, they have not elected the BJP party in the panchayat. That those the considerations are there. But the point is that the BJP, whether they have been, they will do development or really in the region or not. That is, a, uh, that is to be seen in the future. But one thing they have done, they have created such a situation by uh, passing, by about to pass this bill in Rajya Sabha also, where the citizens living in peace for almost now 70 years, they are having distrust and disharmony among themselves. And Northeast again is going back to the days of 1970 and 79, when the agitation took place and the entire development work got actually postponed for years. So that is what is going to happen once again in the region. Once again, the region will flare up, and this is, will be the result we'll of this. We have to wait and watch. Now, Aminul Islam, Amendment uh, Bill. Aminul Islam, your party has also fared very poorly in the panchayat elections. Now, I want to, uh, you to give an explanation. Forget about the performance of your party. My question is, why do you think in the middle of this entire citizenship bill protest and agitation, why do you think the people of Assam have vote, once again voted for the BJP in these elections, in the panchayat elections? Because don't give me this, don't give me this explanation, oh, uh, you know, panchayat election is uh, different and so on. And so so give, give me a logical no, no, explanation. It, is, it, is, it was an important point that always the people like to vote for the candidates having, having nominated by the ruling party. It was also shown in the previous elections in Congress era. And Congress have performed better 
far far better result in, in, in 2014 uh, uh, almost uh, 75 to 80% yes, 80% they, they got but, but in, still in they comparison lost in 2016 yeah. in comparison to that uh, bjp <coughs> couldn't couldn't perform like congress in 2014 they but power from 2001 but, one, one, don't but, forget that but another we factor have, another your factor is there. 2016 no, 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 another, 4 years back another now your popularity is dwindling another that is factor, what is shown by the panchayat election another that, factor is, asking him. that is my question no, to another him. factor <laughs> is the uh, monetary problem the candidates of ruling party they got more money to uh, for their expenditure in elections and also they have their star campaigners and uh, more facilities election oriented politics and election oriented activities they have uh, they they provide they are provided more facilities then we could have more 100% no, no, more facilities money is a factor no, no, no why we have not done it was a factor <laughs> <laughs> because the <tea> gardens uh, <laughs> people nah? were given but part why? of the no, star, star campaigners okay, okay, no, 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 no no are you agreeing to that okay rupam bisani there are ministers and there are star campaigners i am running absolutely money play a major role as well as some kind of rigging okay we'll have to leave that election commission to come up with a verdict on that and I'm running short of time Rupam Goswami what are your last words yeah, last words the, like people are very much in apprehension only I request uh, to the people uh, don't you need not to worry we are here for the engineers people we'll safeguard the we we'll safeguard and protect the <laughs> interest of the engineers right. people very much and we are coming out with, to safeguard the constitutional administration relationship safeguard as well as the service jobs and all everything absolutely definitely BJP is there for the Everyone. Okay, you are assuring the people oh, there. Oh, uh, Mr. Dilip Bora, what do you uh, want to say by way of concluding, concluding remarks? No, I have already actually told that this bill has created fissiparous tendencies once again in the Northeast, not only in Assam, but Assam will be very severely affected and there will be agitation everywhere. And as a result, that, uh, our development work will further go behind and uh, those people who are not uh, having jobs, they will further suffer student community will suffer everybody will suffer because of this bill right. so government of india should have taken into consideration our concerns which actually actually not against the government performance etc but against <laughs> the bill's motive that is what was our concern and they have not cared for not that concern cared for that con okay yes, that uh, mr songtam bijoy singh uh, what are your last words what are your concluding remarks India has more than a thousands of regional aspirations, but the common among all these regional aspirations, they come into the national aspiration. So we should not think that regional aspiration is tearing the country apart. This will all be accommodated. Mm -hmm. All should be accommodated. Okay. Okay. Now, now, Mr. Mr. Yes, Karluki. Yes. Also, be accommodated. That. Yeah. And we have trust on the central government uh, on that. Okay. Mm. Okay. We'll have to wait and watch. Uh, Mr. Karluki, will the protest over the citizenship amendment bill unite regional forces? Can they provide? Is regionalism relevant? Can regionalism, regional parties, provide a viable alternative in the northeast? You see, it is not an opportunity. But I think it is practical politics for the people of Northeast to come together. And that's why I said our founder, Mr. P.A. Sangma, founded this, this party with the main idea to unite the indigenous people of the Northeast and also of the tribals in the whole of India. Do you think? And yeah. We will see after the bill was passed. Okay, okay. Do you, do, you, do you expect or do you see your party, the NPP, playing a lead role in this? You see the role, NPP role, that, that's why I'm telling you, NPP was formed with the main and objective to protect the indigenous people of the Northeast and also the tribal in general in the whole of India. And with regards to coming, from, coming out of NEDA, we are watching what the government, we will, we will talk with them like a delegation had gone to meet them and we'll see what is their response. Absolutely. If they pass the bill in the Raja Sabha, we will sit in, as a party and we'll let you know. Okay. 
Thank you, Mr. Karluki. Okay, you are watching, Mr. Karluki. Everybody is watching. The entire Northeast is watching. Uh, apart from the political parties, the common people are, are also watching what is going to happen in the days ahead. But let me tell you, viewers, the political citizenship is at its peak. And as the elections approach, uh, we will hear, uh, we'll see the citizenship politics emerge and re emerge in different avatars. This is not the last word on the subject. And that is something which one can say safely at this stage. Thank you very much, all my panelists, for this very, very engaging discussions. Thank you, viewers. Good night and goodbye.